So if you're new around here, I started this challenge where I eat one bowl or cup of noodle every single day for a year. I don't really know what day we are and the numbers should pop on the screen somewhere. But somewhere along the line, you guys started suggesting I put different things inside of my ramen. I'm over here wanting to use regular water. <laughs> Who commented this thing right here? Is there a hole in the cup? I can plug it up, right? I don't even got to remove the lid. And I already smell the disgustingness that's under this thing right here. But maybe it's gonna be good. I'm gonna give it a fair shot. I'll try the broth though. Maybe the broth tastes a little better than it. Nah, it's equally bad. Don't do this with me. Now it's not good, but oh, the appetite just hit me real quick. Hold on. The immediate taste you get is chocolate, which isn't which isn't bad. But don't try this one. Shrimp ramen is trash. This is not even a liquid. Maybe it was just eggs, right? This should be good. Like soft boiled eggs all mushed up into a queen. It's not half bad. Now, would I do this every time? Absolutely not. If you like mayo, this is the one for you right there. Now, you might die from a lot of sodium in this thing right here. I'm pretty sure I serve it size one tablespoon. I'm well over one tablespoon, but this is not half bad right here. Ah! <coughs> oh my God. Turn the camera up. Don't do this one at home right there. Oh, I'm really tired of this series because I'm tired of eating nasty types of ramen. But for some reason or the other, you guys keep commenting and suggesting me to try different things in these cup noodles right here. I want to just use regular water. But something tells me. Who commented vinegar? You, can you even eat vinegar? Vinegar and chicken ramen. Let's dig in. Now, Rob fam, when I tell you my entire house smells like vinegar right there, it smells like Thanksgiving and we eating collard greens over here. It might not be half bad, bro. The vinegar might give it an extra zing to it. I'm gonna be positive about it right there. doesn't smell horrible. It just smells like a creamy carbonara kind of thing of the thing thing right there. Let's see what it tastes like though. Mmm. It's extra creamy because of the milk inside of the thing right there. Milk wasn't bad. I get this 10 out of 10. Rafi. Right, so we tried regular milk and it actually tasted pretty good, nice and well. But we got another comment asking us to try some chocolate milk right there. So let's see what it's tasting like over here. It actually doesn't smell half bad. Now my audio cut out right here for some reason, but we're just gonna taste it and I'll tell you what it tastes like right there. Yeah, actually, you can look at my face. It wasn't that good, Rafi. Don't don't try this one at home, man. Yes. Sprite. Right. What flavor of ramen we got right there? Okay. So we got some, some Sprite in here. I'm gonna give this a two out of 10. 
only be like the sprite definitely overpowered the shrimp ramen taste in this thing right here. This is not a good combination at all. The shrimp ramen was already doomed to fail. It was already because it's the worst flavor in the ramen right there. Not a good combination. We got sprite. What flavor of ramen we got right there? Okay. Got some, some sprite in here. I'm gonna give this a two out of ten. Only be like the, the sprite definitely overpowered the shrimp ramen taste in this thing right here. This is not a good combination at all. The shrimp ramen was already doomed to fail. It was already the worst flavor in the ramen right there. Not a good combination.